What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. My name is Miles out of Dallas, Texas, and I am currently in Elkhart, Indiana at Keystone's open house where they have all of their brand new 2023 models on display. And behind me here, I have Montana's new rear kitchen model. I think this is a great blend. If you were to take the Alpine 3910RK from Keystone and the Solitude 390RK from Grand Design and put them together, that's kind of what you get here in this Montana. So I am a big fan of this. I really love what they did with this. But let me know your thoughts. Let's go. Hey, welcome back to another video. If this is your first time tuning into one of my videos, I'm super excited that you're here. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy. And if you do get something out of this video, consider hitting the like button down below and definitely hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. If you would like to connect with me on other social media platforms, links to my Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook are down below in the description where you can find other RV-related content that I upload regularly. And then finally, if you are interested in this RV, keep in mind I am in a sales position. I do not get paid by my company to come out here and make these videos. I just do this on my own time in hopes of finding people like you that might be interested in this RV. So I would love to personally assist you in helping you make this RV yours. So you can either text me at the number on the screen there or there is a link down below in the description that you can fill out with some basic information that will help me best help you. So go down there and fill out that information if you are interested in this RV and let's get into the video. I'm really excited to announce that thanks to my father-in-law and really a full family effort, we now have 100% Spanish speaking RV tour videos online. So whether it's YouTube, TikTok, or Instagram, if you just search RVs con Luis, you're going to find his pages there where you can follow him or subscribe to his channels. And they're gonna be a lot of the same videos that I normally post. They're just going to have Spanish dialogue on them. So we're really excited about this. Go check out those pages. You can find the links down below in the description of the video to those as well. And like, follow, and subscribe and share with your friends and family. All right, y'all, so this is the 2023 Keystone Montana 3901 RK. And the one that we're looking at here currently is a Montana with a legacy package. Now, don't get legacy package confused with a full body paint package because this does also have full body paint on here, but those are two different independent things. So this is a standard Montana decal package here. This is one of three color options. I believe it's three color options that you have for Montana in a full body paint package. And then the legacy package adds things like a Wi-Fi router installed from the factory. You have side and backup cameras installed from the factory, the touchscreen and command control panel that'll link to your phone, um, electric power cord reel, and gosh, there might be one or two more things in there I'll mention as we go throughout. But different things that come with that legacy package as well that kind of step up the game on a Montana. Now let's look at the floor plan layout here first. We'll start here. So you can see it's been a little rainy this morning, but this is this new floor plan here with the big rear kitchen up here, and it is an elevated rear kitchen, so a little bit different than the Alpine 3910RK, but similar to the Solitude 390RK that it steps up into the back there. And then you have your specs here for all of these different aspects of the RV. You can see some of the different things on here. One of the big things is they have a 16 gallon gas electric suburban water heater. So although it's not a tankless water heater, they're going up to a 16 gallon gas electric water heater. So that is still going to give you a very long shower there. And then you can see some of the other aspects of this RV there. Now with the elevated rear kitchen, you do get this back rear storage area back here. Let me get in here. You have motion activated lights. So as I stick my hand in there, you can see you have the sliding tray that will slide out. That's going to be about an eight foot tray that comes out through this door right there. We're parked too close to this other Montana to get that out, but you will have that there. Now, some legacy package Montanas will have a, a fiberglass back cap here. This one does not because it has the um, window on the back. And then you have, this one has the um, RV refrigerator in it. So they have the panel there plus the door here. So they can't do that uh, molded fiberglass front cap on the back because of these different aspects. But that is going to be something you get on some other model Montana's when you get the legacy package, depending on the floor plan. Brake and reverse lights on the back here. Plus this does look like it has a 300 pound. Uh, no, this is a, a 3000 pound towing hitch here, but there is, I don't see a four way plug for lights for a trailer. So still, I guess to be determined if this is going to come with the towing capabilities or if that's just going to be for an accessory hitch but that, that is a 3,000 pound rated hitch there that is on the back. And then as we go through here, you're gonna have, uh, let's see, it's uh, the Saloon 16 inch G-rated tires down underneath here with the road armor suspension. 
So the road armor suspension there is going to give you six inches of travel, three inches up and three inches down. So you are going to have a really good suspension system coming direct out of the factory. Definitely better than pretty much every competition out there. And this does have tire pressure monitoring built into all four tires and your spare tire. So Montana, one of the only brands doing the tire pressure monitor already built into the spare tire as well. And it's not just the valve caps there, it's actually built into the wheel. Coming down underneath here, you do have a fully enclosed and wrapped underbelly. All your water tanks and water lines sit above the insulation in your enclosed underbelly. Looks really clean and flush underneath there. And then you do also have 12 volt heat pads on all of your water tanks to keep those warm as well. You have a nice big storage space up front here, as you would expect in the Montana. Oh, uh, the Montana also has a surge protector built in with the legacy package as well. So you have a built in surge protector with that legacy package. Your in command panel that comes with a touchscreen panel that is inside the RV. This is going to have all your wiring for all your components that are powered by that touchscreen control panel. It's all color coordinated and labeled so you know exactly where everything is at. And then if you want to expand upon the solar system, you do have a spot here that is prepped for an AC inverter so that you can add an inverter to run an AC off of the solar. But on the other side, you can see a lot of your solar equipment over there. Actually, no, let's just walk around to the other side. Um, as we go over there, propane bottle here, side camera there that's already installed. Get underneath here, it's raining, so it's kind of nice to get back behind here. All your storage space down in here, you can get a Montana that is prepped to have a generator. Um, generator prep would go right in this area right here. That is something that you do have to custom order though, because we aren't going to order one typically with generator prep. You have two 100 amp hour lithium batteries here now installed from the factory. That's new for 2023 on every single Keystone RV. Then you have all your hydraulic fluids there. So you have direct access into that space from here as well. And solid slam latch doors up front here. Um, most fifth wheels are going to have the little metal clips, but these actually have the slam latch doors up front. And then your light up front here as well. Right behind me, you have your Road Armor pin box. You can see your LED light there shining down into this area so that you can see what you're doing at night. But the Road Armor pin box has this rubber bushing here and this pivots back and forth. So as you brake and accelerate, it's going to absorb a lot of that shock and give you a smooth ride going up and down the road. And then coming down this way, another propane bottle here, all of your auto leveling controls back behind here with your instructions for that. And then get under here and you have all of your solar equipment here where you have your 30 amp solar charge controller prep to add another solar charge controller if you expand upon the solar system. And then you do have your inverter here as well. So this is gonna have a 400 watt solar system on it. It has on the roof, um, two 220 watt solar panels up there. So with that, you're going to be able to run not only, or just not only keep your batteries charged, but also be able to run some of the outlets inside the RV. There's about seven or eight different outlets in the RV that will run off the solar system as it's set up now. If you wanted to run more, you can get up to a 1200 watt solar system on a Montana. Now keep in mind, that's going to be about 19 to $20,000 to get a 1200 watt solar system on a Montana that runs everything. So it's quite a big jump up in price to look at running an entire rig off of solar. But there are those options there if that is something that you are interested in. And Montana is actually the only Keystone model that you can order with the 1200 watt solar package. All your water connections in here have a motion activated light. So when you turn that on, it'll be a motion activated light there. And then you have your electric power cord reel right here as part of the legacy package. So you don't have to manually wind that thing up. You have a dump station right there. So that's going to be your black and gray tanks. It looks like your pull valves for those are going to be back behind here. Yep. Tucked away in that cavity there is where your black and gray tank pull valves are. And then coming back this way, you have another gray tank right here for from the kitchen. And then you have your pull valve in there for that. This is where your 16 gallon gas electric water heater is at. And here's your vent for any smells coming out of the RV when you are cooking. Now, I wouldn't normally get up on the roof. We are parked way too close there for me to get up on the roof, but you're going to have three ACs up there and you are going to have the 400 or sorry, 440 watts of solar. Now they upped that from last year. Last year it was just 200 watt panels. Now it is a uh, 220 watt panels that are up there. 
And that is pretty much everything on the outside of this Montana. Again, this is, you can see the solar panel up there. Oh, and you have your uh, single awning on this one that covers from the door all the way to pretty much the front cap there. So the slide outs back here prevent it from having a awning off the back, especially with how big this slide is. So that's pretty much everything on the outside here. Again, this has the full body paint package on it, which is different than the legacy package. And that is your standard Montana decals that you'll get on one that does not have the full body paint. And there are two other full body paint options. This is their shadow option here on the outside. All right, let's go ahead and head inside real quick. When I open the door, you do have the strut assisted entry step. So it's going to be weightless. It'll stay up on its own, not going to fall on you or hit you or anything like that making your life easier there. Again, this is the 3901RK, and we're gonna get in here and close the door so that water doesn't get in. Goodness, it is uh, rainy and cold out here in Indiana, so definitely a lot different than Texas. All right, so this is the all-new Montana 3901RK. Now this has the cottage white interior color in it, which also is getting a little bit different sofa color on here. So this is pretty exciting. This is kind of like a, gosh, it's like a, seeing it in this light, it's like a very, very dark brown, but it's really hard to kind of pin exactly what the color would be. But it looks really nice. This is, uh, looks like so far this is the only color option or the only time this color option in a sofa is coming into Montana is with the cottage white interior. The bourbon and the cobblestone will both be separate or different color furniture. Then we'll go right up into the new space here with the rear kitchen. Really, really cool. Finally have a rear kitchen in a Montana. I can't tell you how many phone calls I've taken of people looking for a rear kitchen and they're like, do you have a Montana rear kitchen? It's like, no, they don't make one. Well, now they do. And so this is really exciting. You step up into the kitchen and you have all this space here. And as we're looking around, keep in mind, I'm here at this show event. I guess it's more like a open house here in Indiana, but I am a salesperson down in Texas. So if you haven't watched my channel much or this is your first time seeing it, I am in a sales position. So if you are interested in this RV, there's actually an RV inquiry form down below in the description. It's the first link down in there where if you are interested in this RV, you can send me your contact information and I can reach out to you and personally help you in making this RV yours or maybe any RV that you've seen that you want and would love to help you out with that. So go down to that link down below in the description if you are interested in this RV and I would love to help you out. All right, let's look at some of the things that are going on up here in the kitchen. Now, different than the Alpine 3910RK, I am gonna be talking a lot about the comparisons to different models out there. You have the steps up into the kitchen, which gives you all the elevated or gives you the elevated floor with the storage underneath outside. That is similar to the Solitude 390RK. The Alpine 3910RK, which is also a great rear kitchen model, has a very similar kitchen layout. It's just flat all the way to the back so you don't have the outside storage. So when you step up into here, you have a great amount of storage all along here. We'll kind of get this storage opened up so you can see there's your camera system that it will come with part of the legacy package. Open all these up and you can see everything down underneath here. So you have all that shelving, soft closed cabinets on all your cabinets in a Montana, that's standard. And then you have all of that pantry space here. So one thing that's different from this than the Solitude 390RK is the Solitude 390RK actually does two slide outs back in this kitchen, giving you an island kitchen. So this here is going to not have the island and give you more floor space in this area here than you would get in the Solitude. And then this rear kitchen is very, very similar to the layout of the rear kitchen of the Alpine 3910 RK. Let's start back in this area and kind of work our way around. So first you have this kind of broom and accessories closet. So this is really neat. can fit like a cordless vacuum or a broom in there and have a designated space for that. This one does have the RV refrigerator. Now, in the three years that I have been selling RVs in Texas, I have yet to see us get a single Montana in with the RV refrigerator. You do have the option where you can order it that way, but it seems as a company, we order all of our Montanas that we get in stock on our lots with the residential refrigerator. So that is something that'll probably be a little different than what we'll actually get in on our lots when we have our orders of these come in, which also brings me to the point I wanna mention as well. 
if you are interested in this RV and want to purchase one, it's probably going to be a few months before they actually come in and are available. I don't know how long it may take. It could, I mean, one could show up in a month or it could show up in three months. I really don't know. But if you reach out to me for purchasing information on one of these RVs, we can see what we can do to figure out the pricing for you and everything like that. And then if you want to place a deposit on one, you could actually get a deposit on one before it arrives. So you can have that first rider refusal when it comes in, if that's something that you want to purchase. So keep that in mind as well. And you could get one of the first ones of these in the country. Nice big countertop back here, solid surface countertop. You can see these accessories we have on here are pretty big and they don't take up hardly any space. You have your outlet back here, new backsplash design. This is not a real tile. This is like a um, faux tile, but it's all framed in. And the frame pieces holding that in are pretty thick. So I like to see that. Four drawers that pull out here and then soft closed drawers on all your drawers there. So as those reach that click point, they will close on their own. Window off the back wall, you do have day and night shades in a Montana. And then you have storage all back through here. This is all unobstructed through that back space there. Up above the microwave, they got rid of the spice rack and just left this as open storage for 2023 Montanas. And then you have the convection oven microwave combo. And then they have gone to this Furion three burner stove here. So this is a much bigger space. It elevates it up a little bit. It's a gas stove, looks really nice. Um, the Solitude and the Alpine rear kitchen models will come with the Insignia four burner stove. Now, I don't know about you, but I've been cooking a lot recently and I still have yet to ever use four burners at the same time. So maybe you're somebody that uses four burners at the same time. I've never felt like I needed four burners and I feel like this is a really nice oven that they um, have here from Furion or a really nice stove I mean and then you come down underneath here and your oven is just a little bit smaller than the Insignia oven it does have a three rack system there you can see your heating element is down underneath here so you have lots of space in there still plenty of room to do whatever you would need to do cook a turkey cook a pizza whatever it may be and then you have more storage underneath here because it doesn't come all the way down to that space there. You have storage next to the oven, pull out drawer here. And I think this is all symmetrical. Yeah, all this storage is the same. You can see how they give it that symmetrical look on both sides. Plenty of countertop space going around and then you have, I think this is just shelving up in here. Yep. And then you have your sink here this is going to be a stainless steel sink. It does have this nice drying rack in there. So that's a nice touch that they added in there that is new. You have your faucet here that will move around. And then obviously a great view of the TV here from in the kitchen area. You have your view there of the TV, of the fireplace. You can see everybody hanging out and having a good time. Then another thing I want to talk about with Keystone as well. Keystone now has their owner's app, which I've played around with this quite a bit. And they have a ton of instructional videos inside of this app. But one of my most favorite things about this is if you have any sort of minor issues where you need some parts to repair something on the RV, traditionally you would have to go to a dealership to get these parts ordered and get them in. Let's say something like, I don't know, maybe this handle fell off or a hinge here fell off or wasn't working right or whatever it may be, little stuff like that. You can actually send a picture of it to Keystone in the app and they can send parts directly to your home. So you can fix things yourself if you wanna do that. That is a great option preventing you from having to go all the way to a dealership, wait for them to order the parts and then get the parts from them. So love that they are taking that initiative. All right, last thing down underneath here, you have a nice big storage space underneath here. Now this does not have dishwasher prep. Montana does not do dishwasher prep because I think there's a couple different reasons, but um, I think the biggest one is probably just the you know, hazard for a water leak at potentially happening at some point in time. So I don't think it'd be bad to see the option for dishwasher prep in there. Like the Solitude 390 RK has dishwasher prep in their island. Um, I think it wouldn't be bad to see that option added. But for right now in a Montana, you can easily get some sort of countertop dishwasher or something along those lines. Probably something that would fit back on this back wall if a dishwasher is very important to you and that's something that you need. So that is everything in this kitchen space. Really nice design. And then in the Montana sensor right here, you have the blade AC vent. So these will push air out in a 360 degree motion, giving you more air coverage as the air comes out of there. Also makes the air quieter coming out of there because of how large the openings are. And with that better airflow, it's gonna help cool down your RV quicker. 
Also love that the vents are black along the ceiling and you have the Coleman Mach Q Series AC with the residential air filter in there. That's the Merv 9 air filter. You also have this custom ceiling panel here on the Montana. You can see the color design in there, different than really any other fifth wheel out there. As far as this design on the top, most brands are just using like a plain white on the ceiling. So you have this ceiling texture there that looks really nice. LED lighting all through the crown molding in a Montana as well. They really take time to give it that elegance and wow factor with the LED lighting and the crown molding all through this unit. Handle going up to the step, a nice curved handle there. And then you take your steps down. That brings us back into the living room where you have your three cushion sofa here. So nice to have that bigger sofa space here to make it so a lot of people can lay down in that space. And then this will actually pull out and make into just about a king size bed there. So you have all that bed space, nice big windows. And then you have your storage up above. This should be unobstructed all the way through. Yep. And then here you have your TV, your storage up above the TV. I love just the way it looks here, looking at this area. I mean, just like this paneling effect that they did there. And I think it's just a really nice, clean design that they put together here. You have the JBL sound system here. And then you have your fireplace that will put out heat. It has multiple different color options. So you can see this here if we hit um, this option right there. Yeah, you have like a natural fire look, the orange, the blue, and the purple. The purple is always my favorite. I don't know about you, but I like the purple. Then you have your JBL sound system. I can't remember if I mentioned that. And then here with your recliners, this is going to be the Thomas Paine collection. Um, your recliners, they actually have some pretty interesting features because they're different than a lot of other brands. They're electric recliners, so you can see they recline out and we'll move these all the way out so you can see how far flat this lays here and kind of how that looks. There we go. So it lays down almost all the way flat. And then on these recliners from Montana, you actually have independent spots where you can adjust the headrest to push your head up further or put your head down back further. And then same thing with your lower back as well. You can push that part up and down to give you whatever comfort you're looking for. And then you have this centralized home button. So no matter what position you put the seat in, that home button is going to take it back to its original position right there. So really nice recliners. You have a big window right next to your recliner here as well with the day and night shades. You also have balances that go down the window. So when you pull the nightshade down, it will prevent light from coming out the side there. And then you have your big window up above here as well. In your recliners, you do have a little storage space in the middle, cup holders there, and that's pretty much it. And then your view from the TV, really nice. I mean, it's straight on at eye level, looks really good. And then this is a smart TV. So it's the Kinex smart TV here. You have the 4K TV has the smart capabilities. It's about time that Keystone finally put a smart TV standard in their RV. So you have that there. And you do have this little lip for storage as well. I always forget what these things are technically called, but you know what it is. If you know what it is, let me know down below in the comments. USB ports here next to the sofa and make sure I'm not missing anything else. Cool. All right. When you come to this area here where your dining table is at, this is one that gives you a dining table because the um, Solitude, I don't believe, has a dining table, if I remember correct. So that is something you get in this Montana. The Alpine does have a dining table, so they're similar in that way. And then you have the two chairs here, the really nice looking chairs, definitely more premium. And then it will have two more folding chairs that it will come with. It is a legless table that is screwed into the wall there. So if you wanted to take this out and put something else here, maybe make it a desk or whatever it may be, you can do that as well. This will lift up. I don't want to lift it up too far and you'll have a little bit of storage underneath there. Plus you have a leaf that extends out on the side. Right down here, carpetless slide out. So no carpet here. This is like a plastic woven material, very flexible and easy to move around. And then you have the wrapped subflooring down underneath here and your astrofoil layer of insulation. Big difference here between the Montana and the Solitude where if you lift up the subflooring or you lift up the carpet in a um, solitude, or maybe it's not carpet. It's like the vinyl material, I believe. But if you lift that up, it's just exposed wood down underneath there. I think they spray paint it black so that it doesn't, uh, it looks like it's wrapped, but it's just exposed wood down underneath there and does not have this astro foil layer of insulation with the air pockets in it. So another difference there between those outlets here on both sides. So that's nice, especially if you want to make this like a desk space. 
And then you can see here, this is your tire pressure monitoring system that it'll come with as well. Big windows in this area, and then you have the lights up here with the LED lights up above. And then look at how nice this ceiling fan looks. They went to this black ceiling fan. I've been looking for a black ceiling fan for my bedroom, and that one actually looks really nice. So I like that. You have three ACs on this Montana. The third one in the middle, um, this is an option, so I know we're gonna order all of them with the third AC. But this one in the middle is independent, so it's just gonna help cool down this big space quicker. And that is something that is different than the Solitude, where the Solitude has all three ducted together, where this one, the Montana, has the front and rear ducted together, and then this one in the middle is independent to help cool down this space quicker. So that's another difference you have there. Now, this is one of my favorite parts right through this door. You have this half bath in here that is huge. This is the biggest half bath I have ever seen. It is such a massive space, so much room to stand and walk around in here. I mean, look at that. Look at how much room is between me and the toilet. There, you could fit like three or four people in here. I don't know why you would, but you could. You have a mirror in here, so it gives it a nice pop as well. Plus, if you have guests over here that just wanna look into a mirror real quick, make sure they look all right, you have this nice big mirror there for that. Plenty of storage. I mean, honestly, in a half bath, I'm like, I don't even know what people might use all this storage for in a half bath. I'm sure people can find stuff to use it for, that's for sure. But plenty of space all throughout here. And then you have your toilet paper holder inside of that cabinet there. Outlet in the back corner, you have your bowl sink with the black faucet, and then you have your porcelain foot flush Dometic toilet. You also have the max air vent fan in here, and you do have the AC vent in here as well. So Solitude, the Solitude 390 RK does not have a half bath and the Alpine 3910 RK does have a half bath, but this one honestly has my favorite half bath out of the three. The Alpine has their washer dryer prep in the half bath. And I'm gonna show you in a little bit when we get back to the bathroom why Montana does not have to do washer dryer prep in there. All right, spot for um, coats when you walk in here and then you have all your controls up here. Again, you have the touchscreen control panel from in command that is part of the legacy package that'll connect to your phone. You have your light switches here, power for your inverter, um, your holding tanks, the heat for those, the 12 volt heat pads and your battery heat. So if you don't wanna charge lithium batteries below freezing temperatures, this allows you to do that when you turn the heat onto the battery so that you, they don't get damaged. As you step up into here, you have your king bed and Montana now has a different bedding option here. So this looks really nice. Couple different pillows, a little different than last year. And then you still have the same nightstand up above the window, USB ports and outlets right next to it. Love this light up here where you have the ambient kind of halo light and the direct reading light on those. Balance is all down your windows here to block out that light, especially if you're trying to sleep during the day. And then you have the window up above as well. Outlets and USB ports on that side as well. AC in here with four AC vents in the ceiling. So lots of cooling going on in this room. You have your Wi-Fi router installed from the factory as part of the legacy package. And then you have all of this space in here. Something to mention on the legacy package, a lot of these components that come on the legacy package can be added to a standard Montana. The only things we can't add to a standard Montana are gonna be like the electric power cord reel, but things like your side cameras, backup cameras, Wi-Fi router, stuff like that that's part of the legacy package, that also can be added to a normal Montana as well. Smart TV in here as well, and you do get the TV installed in the bedroom. Can't remember if Solitude has a TV in the bedroom or not. I don't know why I'm not recalling right now if they install one. I think they do, but I could be wrong. So you have these drawers here that pull out, soft close on those, and you have a three-tiered shelving system there. And just a nice big space here. This is opposing slide outs here in the bedroom. So this is a slide and this is a slide giving you plenty of room to walk through here. And then when you open this up, you're gonna have your storage down underneath here. This is something really cool. I've been seeing Furion is doing this flat power cord. So that's pretty interesting. Um, that's something I've been seeing in a lot of these models. I don't know if that's what they're gonna be coming with or if that's just an option in here, not sure. Then you have the folding chairs here down underneath the bed. You have another outlet on this side of the bed and 
another outlet on this side of the bed and that is an inverted outlet down there. So really, really nice bedroom space, nice looking door sliding to the bathroom. Love the color of that door they went with because you also have a sliding door going to the bedroom as well. And then coming into the bathroom here, look at this bathroom. Dual sink here, looks symmetrical. You have both your mirrors on the wall there, storage back in that corner. Another porcelain toilet here. I don't know why my camera is wanting to wash out a lot of the white colors. And then you have your fiberglass one piece shower here with the molded seat. You also have the max air vent fan in here. So all three of your vent fans are max air vent fans. That's something where in the solitude and I think the Alpine, they both have at least one of the cheaper fans in one of their portions of the RV. I think in both in the restroom and Montana gives you three max air vent fans throughout here. Step inside the shower. I'm about six, two and your height to here is right about six, two or six, three. Then up into the skylight, you're going to have height for about 6'5 or so up into here, maybe 6'6. Six, six. And then this here, this is an adjustable height shower head. So this will go up and down. You can move that up and down there. And then this here sits right at about the mm, kind of about my forehead level. So I might want to lift it up just a little bit. Um, so that is what you're looking at with the shower here. So maybe not the biggest shower that's ever been seen in an RV, but if you're six, three or under, you should be able to fit pretty comfortably in this shower. As you go back into this space first, let's look at this storage here that we have in here. So nice, big storage all back through there. I'm sure it's the same down underneath here as well. Then you have storage underneath the sink and pull out drawers here as well. Also have little touches like the towel rack and or I guess the washcloth holder, whatever you would call that, I suppose. And your bowl sinks with the black faucets. And then check this out. So they angled off this closet. So you have an actual walk-in closet, little touches as well, like they put the little stopper there so you don't damage that. You have magnet latches on here and this is a walk-in closet. Washer dryer will go right here. Stackable washer dryer, you can still walk into the closet even if you install a washer dryer. And you really don't lose any wardrobe space except for this clothing rod there. If you do that, you still have all this shelving here, rod all the way across the back, your shelf, and all your shelving there. So an absolutely huge walk-in closet that is incredible. This is the coolest thing ever. So really excited about this. Definitely curious to hear your thoughts about this closet here because this is really impressive. And then it's just magnet latches to close those doors there. So really, really nice. Now, the other thing I wanna talk about real quick, cause I forgot to mention this, everything in a Montana is solid hardwood as well. So that is something where you don't have any wrapped cabinetry or anything like that. It's all stained solid hardwood in here. It's a really nice, good quality. One difference between Montana Solitude and Alpine is a Montana is 96 inches wide, whereas something like an Alpine and a Solitude are both a wide body construction that are, that are four to five inches wider. Now, one thing they did change in this Montana though, is giving you taller slide out boxes. So finally, we have taller slide out boxes in a Montana where this slide out box is like seven feet tall. So that is something where traditionally Montana's only had about a six foot six slide out box or so. Now it's about seven feet. So it gives you that much bigger feel in here. And I definitely appreciate that as well. Cause that's something that I was like, please just make a bigger slide out box, Montana. Come on. So they did that. And then you have the Dynaspan single piece sub flooring underneath here. It is all one piece, no seams in the flooring. Um, so that's going to be something where when you're walking around, because there's no seams in the flooring, you're not going to have like squeaky points or anything like that throughout owning your RV. And it is marine grade. So if any water got exposed to it, it would just beat up on the wood there. Last thing in a solitude, you have um, ace or your um, heating is all ran through cabinetry. So they use dryer hoses to run the heating through the cabinetry and things like that. Montana does do more of a residential style heating here with your heat vents here through the flooring. So that's giving you ducting through the flooring that is giving you a more direct heat, which this is the most efficient heating system that you can get in an RV. It's just like what you would have at your home since air is going directly through that ducting right up through the vent instead of having to travel through dryer hoses. So you do have that as well here in the Montana and they give you really small vents here. So they look nice and it's not as much space for things to fall into that area there. And that is pretty much everything, y'all. So let me know your thoughts down below of what you think about this Montana.
All right, y'all, that's all I got for you. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button down below and definitely hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you are interested in this RV, again, I am in a sales position, so I would love to personally help you out in making this RV yours. You can go down to the link down below in the description. It is the first link down there that has my RV inquiry form in it. And you can leave me your contact information. And as soon as I'm available, I will get in touch with you and help you get the information that you need in regards to either coming to see something like this in person when we do have them available or getting you purchasing information. Now keep in mind, this is a 2023 model. So it might be, you know, a month, two months, three months, four months before we actually get one in. But you can always place a deposit on one before it does come in, get that first right of refusal when it comes in so that you can get one of the first ones in the country. So if that's something that you're interested in, go down to that inquiry link down below, pick the Mesquite location, which is where I'm located at, and I would love to help you out. That's all I got for y'all. Until next time, I'll see you out camping.